reserve time. Welcome back, friends, to the Cena Cup and Cena Cup qualifiers, I think. And it's hard to get together versus VG Gaming. Well, today is a game of two best of threes, and both of them, well, the betting, uh, betting community have said that, well, they favor one group highly, and we hope to see upsets, but. It doesn't happen when I cast, so... But I'm like Sanderson Nora, and I'm going to be joined by Basket here today. And this is the first time we've been casting together, Basket, so... Someone's dropped out like a kid in school. It's going to be a new Ten experience for me, that's for go. sure. And I'm going to switch up some of the overlays. I did not add the Five rest of seconds. the stuff the last time I was casting. But yeah, why don't you go ahead and tell them... Well, tell the audience about Reserve the draft. time. Alright, so... Well, obviously nice to be here, Lysander. Thanks for jumping in. Uh, last minute. So for anybody wondering what's going on, I couldn't find a co-caster. Lysander very kindly offered to come and cast and I realized, well, he's very capable of streaming in higher quality than I'm currently capable of doing. So I figured we may as well just switch roles. So he's going to be handling the stream and everything and I get to get to kind of relax a little bit. And are you giving away where you've, where you've bet your rares, Lysander? Are you, are you betting on the underdog for both of these? Ten um, to go. I, I sit it at the front, man. I only bet sockets at Immortals. Mm, okay. Seconds. So. Yeah. Oh well, I always, I always support the underdogs, uh, unless it's my favorite team. But Reserve still, time. I always like to see upsets because uh, that's when the most amount of crying and carpers happen. So I think an upset would be great. I mean, it's good for it's good for competition. And I already see a second pick viper here coming up from Hearts Get Together. So I'm excited for something special. Yeah, we we've been seeing a little bit of the viper recently, but not too many teams have been picking it up this highly. I'd say maybe IG have been doing. I've been picking it fairly highly recently, but aside from that, I can't really think of anybody. The draft hasn't been that non-standard so far. I would say aside from the viper pickup, Alchemist and Visage, pretty familiar. Yeah, Timbersaw, bad. no big surprises there. Uh, so it looks like Hearts get together, paying some respect to the to the Pugna band, well, to the Pugna pick, yeah, standing it out. One. But is Pugna actually worth the ban? I mean, would people have figured it figured it out by Ten now? Ten seconds you know, to go. You think uh, maybe they figured it out by now, and they know how to counter it. So Five pick seconds. it might actually be a danger instead of um, a blessing to you. And the only thing Reserve special about time. the Vici gaming, Alchemist is whether or not it's run as a hard carry or support. Yeah, for the most part, we have been seeing Alchemist as a support recently, and we seem to have this. I've had this discussion a million times at this point. It's like, yeah, Alchemist can do all of these things, and then in almost every single game, uh, we just see him as a support. LGD Inter still running him as a mid. Uh, we had the yeah, odd game yeah. here and there with him as a as a carry, but I don't think he's too impressive as a carry these days, and especially when you've got a Viper uh, and a Timbersaw and the enemy team. I don't think your carry Alchemist is going to be having a very good time. Uh, so expecting just to see it as a as a support here. Yeah, and they're taking a little bit of time to think it through. How to get together, they're going to be eating through extra time very soon. But they have actually looked to ban out all the pushers, actually. Ten you can seconds see, to go. They ban the partner, they ban the weaver, split pusher, maybe? Yeah, and the lone Five druid as seconds. well. So they don't really want to deal with this uh, kind of tower crushing lineup. And Reserve VG Gaming, time. on the other hand, actually ban out some of the team fight. Venomancer, uh, Darkseer, Chen, Clockwork. Disruptive heroes, I would say. Um, Venomancer, very good at destroying supports. I mean, if he gets a good gill plus ulti off, he can actually take off supports. And Clockwork, always great at isolating key heroes like Viper. Uh, maybe not so good on Timbersaw, but yeah, Chen, Darkseer as well. Very good at messing up the fights the way you want them to go. With the heal, with the vacuum surge, all that. Someone's having technical difficulties. Yeah, and the one thing for Hearts Get Together is... Well, okay, so they do pick up the Mirana here. So looking like it's probably going to be mid-Viper, I guess. One strat that we have seen some teams running is picking up someone like Viper or Pugna um, or even Bristleback. And you just safe lane that hero. They rush up a really fast mech. And from that point forward, you pretty much just five man. So uh, I was thinking that that might have been the plan for Hearts, but it looks like it's just going to be offlane Timber, Viper heading mid. Uh, and then Mirana maybe is their, their one position. Bomber. Yeah, they could still shuffle things around a little Ten bit. Seconds and to go. Oh, I guess still plenty her. of good supports left. They could roam her. Oh no, nope. That's gonna be Radiant that's gonna pit. be a dual lane most probably. Uh, probably a dual tri lane. I think the last guy will be a roamer jungler, uh, because uh, Naga bottom lane is pretty pretty potent on its own. You don't really need anything else apart from that. And yeah, we have your bristle back here, like you mentioned. So a lot of cores on VG gaming. 
So it's probably a mid alchemist. Yeah, I could still potentially be the support. I think I'm not 100 percent sure what they're what they're up to here. Vichy Gaming maybe just off lane bristleback. Clinks is go. the safe lane farmer, and then I guess we're either looking for a support. Uh, or for a mid. I think you don't want to put your ban. Alchemist mid just because he's going to get destroyed Dive by either pick. Timbersaw uh, or Viper, no matter which one of them mm -hmm. uh, ends up in that lane. But usually we see Alchemist just sit there, get the EXP. You, get, you see LGD running him against Bat Rider. Um, we had Fnatic yesterday running it against S4's Bat as well. Although it didn't turn out too well, um, it did. It did get the levels it needed, and yeah, Bulldog's ganks did hurt him a lot. But yeah. Alchemist mid is just Radiant there to... Spin. It's something like a DK, you just want him there for the levels. Get the stun and acid spray up and just go roam maybe? Yeah, could do. It's nice to have, especially when you've got a greedy support like the Visage. You you can have a mid that just needs his levels and then can go start getting active, start ganking around. And the Alchemist definitely, definitely fits into that. And we sometimes see teams running into problems where they have Visage and another kind of greedy support, but they get forced into Damn running a defensive try lane and... Yeah, having your mid leave and give some experience to the support, Five um, well, especially to the Visage, can be great. And Heart's just going to finish it up with a, with a Crystal Maiden, so I'm Reserve actually a little bit time. surprised to see CM make it this late in the draft, but solid pickup overall for them. Uh, and they've got a lot of sort of early to mid game fight, which is something that Vichy Gaming are probably looking to, to really take advantage of as well with the, with the Bristleback. So it should be a pretty action-packed game, I would say. Yeah, it's uh, CM is actually really good for Viper. Viper has a minor mana problem when it comes to Zorb, and CM just offsets that really well. And we did mention that there will be a jungler earlier on, and CM can actually jungle. So we will probably not see the CM in lane because it's dangerous for her. There's a Visage, there's a Bristleback. She'll probably pop by once in a while for a gank, but I think she'll be sticking to the jungle, using the Frostbite for uh, as well as pulling, uh, maybe for Timbersaw, and get those levels up. And oh, wow, Vichy Gaming for go for a lit. Well, that's going to deny a lot of EXP. Uh, where, where they decide to put it is the question, do they go off lane with this or do they put the Bristleback off lane? I don't like this Bristleback pick to be honest because there's a Timbersaw and Br Timbersaw just destroys Bristleback uh, whether or not he has his passive because the pure damage as well as him being a strength hero uh, can be pretty detrimental to him. Yeah, Bristleback does still reduce um, pure damage but yeah, it's, it's not the best matchup against the yeah, uh, you, against the timber saw. Yeah, you can't reduce stat loss, so yeah, still, exactly. It's um, it's a questionable pick. I I'm not even sure. There is no reason apart from acid spray. Yeah, maybe acid spray, but apart from acid spray, there really isn't any synergy. And we are actually seeing a mid, mid bristleback here from our no probably off lane. There's a stout shield and a lot of regen. Might be a mid tim uh bristleback from ROTK, but I think he's going off lane. And so I'll run through Vichy game. You can go through hearts get together. Sounds good. Alright, so it's going to be Vichy Gaming playing on the Radiant side as ROTK on that Bristleback. It's FY on that Visage, it will be Fenrir on that Lich Super taking the solo mid position as the Alchemist Scylla will be playing the Clinks here. So, Ring of Protection already picked up here. Go. So once a quick Aquila Ring, so in the event that he does get a free lane, he can actually push out the wave. Maybe keep his wave alive a little bit longer, but Naga Potom seems to be going top. Yeah, so very quickly for the Hearts Get Together side, we have A's playing the Naga Siren, Jao LV is going to be your Mirana, we've got XY on the Crystal Maiden, we've got Jao Hong handling the Viper, and on the offlane, Alex is going to be your Timbersaw. Alright, so it looks like it will be a Silar versus Timbersaw lane, so I think Sila will be okay. He shouldn't die unless he makes some big mistakes here. And they they look like they're gonna rotate uh, the Mirana as well as Naga top. And they already ate two quill sprays there, so a little bit unfortunate for them. They took a little bit of damage, but I think this lane is pretty scary for VG Gaming. There's a try lane here with the Lich. They're going aggressive try here with ROTK up top. And Crystal Maiden. Oh, this is going to force the CM. Yeah, this is going to force the CM not to jungle. But at the same time, I don't think that their solo lanes are really, you know, really big oh, wins or anything. So Vichy Gaming do need to be careful not. about uh, if they end up losing this tri lane, then I think they, you know, they're liable to lose maybe two or all three lanes, and things get very difficult from there. So just still have to be careful, though. I, I like the decision to go aggro just so the Crystal Maiden isn't roaming on your Alchemist. Uh, it's not roaming on your on your Clink. She's still going for jungle. So XY 
gotta stick to the original plan. Uh, gotta get that frostbite up on this Wilkin. So we'll bring it down early on in this phase. Gotta get very, very early levels already. Halfway there to level 2. And drops another frostbite on a small creep. Not so sure uh, that's the best, but still, he gets his level 2 now. Uh, he will. We'll see if he goes for Aura Nova. And he with that early smoke, I think he can actually pick up early, early. Uh, early ganks here. Maybe get boots even. He has saved up for boots money. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised that he didn't just choose to stack it, clear the big creep, and then kill the second big creep with the second frostbite. So he's a little bit, little bit behind where he could be uh, at the moment. Yeah, and but the lich in this lane will keep the wave, wave back. So Mirana as well as Naga will have a little bit of a trouble here. So VG oh. actually very clever in terms of this uh, drafting here. So the last. Last pick Lich actually might have caught the Hearts get together out of well, Hearts get together. Yeah, might might have caught them by surprise here. But Viper is actually crushing super mid, like you said. But they still put him there because he is just going to be sitting there soaking up exp, and he has got pull tangles, so he can't even can't even get through all that regen. And he's going to be very lucky there. Speaking of regen, he's going to pick one up on the bottom lane, and Viper is not going to be happy about that. That's for sure. Yeah, a little bit of little bit of luck for Super. Um, it was sitting down there for twenty seconds, so I guess he kind of had kind of had that planned out. I think the one question for Vich not they keep this tri lane up here, uh, or whether or not Fy is going to choose to maybe rotate bot. They are running some side pulls and things like that, and still getting some experience up. So uh, I think it's still all right, but without any kills, I don't know if there's any if there's much motivation for him to be up here as opposed to just sitting bottom lane where Silar is having some trouble. He's pinned under the tower by the timber saw. Yeah, and well, XY has gone for a smoke on his own, so he's gonna look for a super kill here before he hits level six really far. He is dead. This is your first blood. Continuous chain here from the stun, but Xiao Hong has to be very careful. Gets frostbite up on the high ground. Very well done here. Great gang, just running onto the high ground just to avoid that. Make sure that they are really far um, from any kind of close or stacking stun, as well as being able to just pursue him in the event if he does get to run away. But he was level three, no chance. Zero, well, very low armor on Alchemist, below average movement speed, no boots against the Viper. We have CM coming in, uh, coming in. That's an easy kill for them. Yeah, and. Now, Xiao Hong, I don't even know if he needs another gank to just completely dominate this lane. He's going to grab level 6 pretty soon. That might be another kill for him if Super isn't careful. And at this point, Super might just consider. Oh, okay, sit back for experience. He gets netted up. That's an arrow, and that's going to be 199 damage. FY. You have to remember, guys, Visage has a lot uh, lower magic resistance than normal after the last patch, as well as the damage, and another second splash will bring him down. So Ace will get that kill. ROTK going for the dive. ROTK style. The tango through with the jukes. Nope, the frost blast will bring him down. So ROTK, his dive is. Six feet down. Well, ROTK's dive was well worth it. Loses a lot of HP, but he has a flask for that. So, well. Good dive, could have turned into a throw, dive but it didn't make that happen. And XY, gonna come down here and de ward his sentry ward just oh, missing man. the... Click, click on this sentry ward, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, just missing that's it. really sad. Oh, the arrow hits Fenrir anyway! Could be perfect world service. Timbersock kills Scylla in the bottom lane, and hearts get together! 4 and 1, my socket and Immortals are safe, guys. But Immortal XY, secured. yeah, Immortal secured, man. XY, he's got his boots. Great gank, Lich catching the arrow there wasn't tower. part of the plan, but ROTK sitting at 20 last hits, just a little bit behind the two cores of Hearts Get Together. Xiao Hong is Radiant dominating the middle lane, 25 super, <laughs> only sitting at 9 and 0, so not feeling too good about his lane. And like I said, Timbersaw should not kill Klings unless Klings makes a huge boo boo, and Klings did make a, hu did make a huge mistake. Silar going for the soul ring. Something rather common on Klings here. The chat is calling him out as an Isama fan. We'll see if he goes for Midas and to Treads here. So, Sila gonna use the Shadow Walk or the Skeleton Walk to try and get better uh, back into range. And Xiao Hong playing very defensively here. I'm not so sure if he saw the smoke from VG supports. Yeah, I think he just has his suspicions because they haven't turned up on top lane again. Uh, looks like they might be able to get him. He is going to duck down into the river. Oh, the stun has been channeled and he's going to be in trouble. The stun's going to land. The acid spray is going to be timely as well. Soul Assumption will secure the kill. And, well, Super just going to be standing there with the frost armor on him now. He might want to tank up the tower to do some damage here. XY uh, going to respond to this aggression and going to head down to building. Alchemist. And FY and Fenrir are just going top again. I'm a little bit surprised. I thought they were going to try and help out Silar a bit more on oh, bot. Arrow. 
<laughs> oh, Fenrir even sidesteps the arrow there. FY is going to eat an arrow, but I don't think he's going to get any kills here. Starstorm, not high enough level. Ace is really high armor as a Naga Siren. Level 7 armor. And now Super trying to get the kills. They're going to be Chook Frostbite. Oh, Super might actually stun himself. No, he throws it on the illusions. So, XY, unfortunate for him, but still, uh, a great juke there by him. Using the nighttime vision to ensure Alchemist didn't land a stun on him. Could have done a lot of damage. Yeah, very nicely done. <laughs> oh wow. Timbersaw. Once again getting picked off by Alex. So Alex playing, uh, doing a great job here and Sila. Well, shouldn't be He still dying. doesn't have boots. He yeah. still doesn't have boots. I don't know what he can, he can do anymore here. Alex can just run at his face and... I don't know. If there are creeps underneath the tower, Alex can just run up, Radiant chalk her and whirling death. It's a max right whirling now. death now as well, and Silo needs help. He needs a bailout right now. And looks like no one is actually coming to him, and now Super is in trouble as well. Viper has dropped the ultimate on him. We're going to see if the regen actually works on him this time, but the Lich, as well as the Visage, surprise CM says goodbye, son. He's just going to leave. Alex, I'll tell his bottle, not enough to save his life. Crystal Maiden just bailing immediately. He's like, oh well, you're dead. And Super with that massive regen is back to full health. So this is one of the good things of putting the Alchemist's middle. Because if the Viper decides to go on you, you pop your ultimate because Viper doesn't have stuns or silences. You can just pop your ultimate and just run away from him. His, vo his poison damage will be pretty much useless with your 50 HP regen per second. Bovo, please. And Alex, on his way to a quick bloodstone here. Yeah, and Timbersaw is getting really scary. He's got 42 CS, he's got two solo kills, he's level 9. Um, I don't know how Ichi Gaming deal with him at this point. It's no longer just like, oh, bring one support down and that'll sort of keep him at bay. Uh, at this point, I think you need Trouble probably three Radiant people, if not down. more, to, to bring this guy down. Yeah, maybe use Sila as a bait, but Lich has shown himself now, and now Alex, I think he wants to go in. He has got his vitality booster, he's gonna look for Sila. And I'm not even sure Fenrir can save his life, actually. He has to be very careful, he's sitting at 600 HP, he has no ultimate for now 5 seconds? Is Alex gonna go? Alex was thinking about the Chakram, and now Viper after 2 deaths, uh, gonna play a little more defensively here. There's a haste rune here for Super, he's gonna pick up a bottle. What do you think ROTK should go for though this game? Will he go for a mech or will he leave it to the um, Alchemist to do that? Um, well, I'm, I'm not actually sure because ROTK, he's still getting really good farm, he's still the most farm hero uh, on his team right now, but we'll see. The Alchemist could decide to go for the mech in which case I don't think going for a Vanguard or anything would be, be too bad, but I think they do have to appreciate that Hearts Get Together can start looking for some mid-game team fights fairly soon. They know that the Clinks is still pretty much dead weight, uh, while they've got a whole bunch of heroes that are ready to start five mining towers and you know, bringing things down. And Zhao Hong, as soon as he's got that mech finished, uh, expect Hearts Get Together to, to start muscling down some tier ones. So if the Alchemist doesn't go for the mech, yeah, I would like to see one uh, up on RTK. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited because, well, the underdogs are winning. And if you check out the go graph, although it's kind of balanced out for now, it's 1,005 in their favor. The EXP, about 1,000. So it shows that VG Gaming has been farming, and also possibly because of the Lich. And um, it's 3 to 5. Hearts Get Together are definitely ahead here. The Timber Saw could spiral out of control. So VG Gaming. They have to step it up. I'm step it up. I'm not even sure about their late game for now because Super has not been taking the carry role. No points in greed, so he's not going anywhere farmish for now. RTK is pretty okay with his farm, 37 to 10, 38 on Klings. Well, Klings haven't uh, haven't got a good start. Uh, he really wanted as well, so we're gonna have to see if he can make it. And now there's gonna be a uh, huge smoke coming down bottom. Yeah, Super still has three quarters of a history though, so. Little bit difficult to get the to get the kill. I think Silar is gonna be the one taking the fall here. There's dust on the timber saw, so he's uh, just super. Can he reveal this gank? He reveals it. Uh, nicely uh. done. They might go on him actually. Because uh, oh yeah, POTM's not here, so. But he's running out of his haste rune. He has to be very careful. He's out of his haste rune. But no, they're going in. Instant moonlight shadow. Very well done here. And Ace. Gonna get himself stunned up. Is there any dust? Not nope, no dust whatsoever. And here comes the Viper Strike. Oh, like I said, Timbersaw against Strength Hero, just so strong. But there's Chain Frost. No, Timbersaw, don't send it back to his team. He didn't. Uh, because of the invis. And now they're gonna look to turn it around. Timberstar still diving here. Not so sure this is the right idea. And he's gonna TP out here, bailing out once again. A lot of miscommunication. The POTM is here. He should have gone for it now. Xiao Ho will be paying for his life. 
with his life. Yeah, Xiao Hong gets a double kill, but he dies. Shallop, is he gonna be able to get off in time? Shallop is gonna be leaping away, but he's still gonna get stunned. A lot of burst damage coming here, and that was a huge, huge, huge throw, I think, from Hearts Get Together. A bad fight coming out. Timbersaw deciding to TP out, build, um, and well, just bail out on his team here, so. Not so sure that was the right the idea, business. not the right call. I mean, a lot of heroes could have been burst down. Look at Silas HP. One more Timber Chain, one more Chakram would have done the trick here. And ROTK really low, he could be going down here, and he does. Goodbye, ROTK. Here comes the song. It's a very slow song. And is it gonna land blow himself up? Are they gonna do it in time? No, they're just gonna let it go. Not gonna risk anything. Now, super in trouble. He's ultimate really low duration left on that one, and he's gonna go down. The Timber Saw, he is gonna repay for his mistakes here. And FY will be going down as well. Tries to get the last hit here. Alex will not be getting that triple kill. But now, VG Gaming's like, well. You guys didn't have a good fight. We are gonna be extra greedy as well. We're gonna come back to your tower and feed you more kills. So hearts get together back in the lead here with um, three kills in the pal in the pocket and Sila um, avoiding a death there. So that's okay for him. Radiance gone and fortified. Yeah, and I think you're right. It was I found it really strange that Alex was like, "Oh no, I'm out. I'm Radiant's done, guys. I'm TPing. I'm TPing back to base. Left the you know left a couple of his teammates to die there." And Radiant Vichy Gaming thought, "Hey, look, we won the team towers. fight. We can we can take this tier one tower." But Alex came back and I think showed the reason why he shouldn't have TP'd out uh, in the first place. So hard to get together. They turn things around. They get the tier one tower, and things are still looking good. It's much closer than I expected, given how badly the first five six minutes of the game went for Vici Gaming, and it's it's to their credit that they've managed to recover into the position that they are in. Oh, and oh, ROTK, ROTK grabbing some farm. There's no tier Classic one tower ROTK. here anymore. He's he's gone. Yeah. Like I said, Bristol Bank <laughs> doesn't save you. It really doesn't save you at all from the Timbersaw. Timbersaw has just such low cooldown nukes, and there's an illusion here with Bristleback, like, oh, he's a tanky hero, and Bristleback with Mac and uh, Mac from with Mac does have a lot of mana problems as well. You really want to keep every single ounce of mana for Quill Spray as well as Nasal Goo, and you really can't afford to have that Mac taking a huge chunk of your mana away as well. Uh, Bristleback is one of the highest in games as a strength hero, 2.8, I think, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, 2.8. So he has really good strength gain in the late game, uh, in Intel gain. Uh, when it come late game, he will have his mana, but it's still a big problem here against Timber Saw because Timber Saw is really close to his Bloodstone. Already has his Void Stone as well as his Energy. Oh, his Radiant's Soul Booster, and he just needs hits. the Ring now, and he will have his Bloodstone by around 15 minutes. And one good, one or two good kills, or even a tower here, will guarantee him that. Radiant's top yeah. tower. Alex is terrifying at this point. He's, he's level 11. He's got a second point in Chakram. He can pretty much burst down anybody on Vici Gaming that he wants if he finds them near some trees. And Vici's still making all the right moves to recover back into this game. They've stacked up some ancients. They've managed to grab a little bit of extra farm uh, here and there. But they still have to be careful. One or two bad team fights at this point could get them into a nearly unrecoverable position, I would, I would say. Yeah. ROTK has to be careful. And another thing to note as well, Shell Love is actually going for Midas. <laughs> so catch up Midas if you will. He's 1, 2, and 2. He's not that bad. And ROTK is going to assert dominance. Yes, guys. Thank you for reminding me the last cast. Asserting dominance step 1. There is no step 2. But now Alex could be looking for a kill here. And Silar not wanting to push his luck. He is going Isama head of Midas. This guy is such a fanboy, guys. Yeah, I don't know. I think I feel like LGD Int started the... The Midas craze. If you want to, if you want to point fingers at anybody for Midas on anyone, I think it has to be Black, because he was doing it before oh, it was. Cool. He was doing it before it was, you know, six, seven, nine. I thought the credit goes to HYHY because Freedom did shout out. Oh yeah, him. yeah. So, oh yeah, yeah, as well. No, but sure. I'm just referring to the Klinks going Midas. <laughs> That's oh, why yeah, Isama yeah. did every single game. We'll see if he goes for the Blink, and then Blinks we'll know if could he's be cool. a true. Yeah, we'll see if he's a true Isama fan. I. Uh, well, I want to. I'll admit, I'm an Isama fan. After that game where they played, uh, where they just outmaneuvered Alliance. I'm not so sure when it was, but that was a huge game. Uh, now F we're F going to hold that. Yep. FY mid in trouble and goodbye, sir. <laughs> going to get cut up to pieces. Viper's going to bring him down. Actually, ROTK going to be slow to a crawl. He tries to turn his back on the fight. Chain frost while the song is on, and it does allow that reposition. Alex once again with the masterful TPs. He's got to get out of there. Even the RNG on his side. Let's chain frost just killing creeps. So. Alex knowing when to bail, and he has his bloodstone very soon, so... Yeah, like we were saying, uh, Siler gonna pick up the blink dagger, or will he go straight into the orchid, straight into crits? Or is he just gonna do full rat here with his clinks? Uh, it remains to be seen, but yeah, Isama has really impressed me uh, with some of his builds.
Yeah, he's 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 ever an innovator. Sometimes I, I don't want to make this you know I don't want to make this cast too much talking about, about Eve, but he's he's definitely very eccentric. If that's a word I can, if if that's a word I can use to refer to a Dota player. Yeah, and Super is actually going for a Vitality Booster, and I'm not even sure what he wants to go for. Is that a straight heart? I think it's just a casual bit booster for bad. now. You have to remember that Alchemist lost all of the plus uh, bonus hit points from his well, from his ultimate from the previous patch. So this is something that I've seen some people doing just to compensate for the fact that you're now quite a bit squishier than before. And if you have enough, you need enough HP for the regen on your ultimate to actually be significant. If you just die in three seconds flat, uh, then that regen isn't doing anything, anything for you. So I, I like the pickup here from Super. Yeah, but I think it's just a casual. Casual Vibrister. Yeah, with the Midas, Klink's actually managed to catch up a lot here. And oh, the net goes on to ROTK once again. Is there an arrow to follow? No, the, the Priestess once again out of position for fights. And it Alex might have gone way out of his league this time. But nope, the mechanism keeps him alive. So just kidding, ROTK will fall here. Viper strike on him. But he pops the mech. He's not going to get out of this alive. He's going to get brought down. Alchemist comes on in. Super. Got to drop the acid spray as well. Soul Assumption. Everything thrown on a Viper. XY that throws out the dust because why the heck not? He drops a flame. He takes a flame arrow. Arrows or soul assumption to the face, and they lose two heroes with that dive. ROTK decides to buy back. Not so sure that is a good idea, but in the end, I'm not so sure who actually came out on top there. The XP graph actually going back in favor of VG Gaming. Yeah, VG Gaming making some really nice plays here. I mean, hearts get together, diving a little bit aggressively uh, past that tier one tower, and VG they're. they're They've been down from pretty much the very start, but they've been doing a really good job of clawing their way back into the structures for now. Yeah, Sila is actually. Oh, oh, well, hold that top. There's a net, and once again, they ditch FY. FY, goodbye, sir. Viper Strike on ROTK as well. Is that going to be a chain Moonlight Shadow just to make sure this fight is extremely difficult for VG Gaming? Here comes the Chain Frost. Will that be RNG? The Timber Saw finally falls. Unstoppable. Goes to Klinks. That's a big kill. Sila, he's going to fire arrows at Shallow, but Shallow's going to get out there. That poor Crystal Feeden is going to feed another kill, and now I think Sila wants this. He will get it. He gets the regeneration as well. Everything going well for Sila. He is now 2 2 and 4. Picks up a bit of stop, a thousand nine hundred gold on him. Timbersaw tries to kill Super here. But I don't think he's gonna get him. And Viper not in range for that poison attack. So, well, oh, Super is coming back in. All right, so chase the side here. Fy in trouble. Are they gonna catch him down? No. Yeah, we're gonna catch him. I think Fy is dead now. Grave chill. Gonna slow him down. Viper gonna get caught out here by the stun. Sila is up here. He's throwing the arrow. Super is gonna catch that, but the strafe will bring down. But no, a quick mech. Oh, he gets another last shot off. And Sila, he's going to town here. He gets netted up. There's a dust on him. He's gonna slow him down. But a double stun here from Alchemist. That keeps them locked in place. The song just gonna build them out for now. And they are gonna have to back off their ace bloodstone charges. Uh, but still, it's not enough health regen to stay in there alive. And now, they're gonna back off. And VG Gaming seems to be clawing their way back in. And this seems to be the story for all the new teams. I casted Tong Fu B the other day, and it was this case as well. They were Dyer's trashing, uh, they were trashing Tong Fu. Was it Tong Fu? Or they were Hope beating the LGD International, so about to get their tower. first win ever on a live stream, and they just fell short in the late game. Yeah, it's just, it seems that the established teams, you know, it, when it comes to mid game decision making and also the mid game execution, things really. Start to start to fall apart for these well for these newer teams. I mean, Hearts get together. They've been around for a little while now, and to their credit, they did a really good job in the early game. But I think a lot of that was just some weird laning decisions from Vici. They chose to go for that aggressive tri lane that ended up costing them pretty heavily. Running that aggro tri meant that Silar had just an atrocious time on Clinks to start, but somehow he's now the most farmed tier on the map. He's got his Orchid, nice. and he's got his Midas finished. So. Yeah, this is why he's worth that transfer fun, uh, transfer fee of 50k? Was it 50k? Oh, 38k. Yeah, I'm, I'm, Radiant's mid I don't remember. This is actually his first time playing for Vici Gaming in an official match, I think, because he wasn't allowed to play for them uh, in WPCA, so they had to actually keep bringing in stand-ins. Yeah. So I don't know if he's going to be allowed to play in the playoffs now, or... If it was just the group stage, but it's interesting because he's been on the roster for a while now. But Rising Stars did disband, so technically he's not tied to any team now. He can, play, mm, I guess. Yeah. And I, I'd, I'd hope so. I really, I'd really like to see Vici playing with their their full team. 
Yeah, that that's a difference between a uh, pro pro carry as well as a uh, not so pro carry. It's gonna be nice about this, uh, because you see a carry like Sila, he remains disciplined. He, he gets killed earlier on, but once the space is made, he immediately goes into the into the lane, farms up his creeps, gets his midas, and catches back uh, back up. Whereas Hearts get together, they had a good early game. Shall love. You look at him now, he's still at 77 last hits. Radiant he didn't really join the fights when he needed uh, needed to. A lot of times I was looking for that arrow and I find him farming up top. One so, last top tower for the if it's anything, I would, I would pin all the um, disadvantage they've been getting right now on Xiao Love. His inactivity in the fights really costing them. And now he's going for something useless. A Manta style on Mirana only Radiant's serves to be a defense against the Klings. When he could have gone for something more uh, hard hitting, like a uh, yeah, hard hitting like a uh, maybe a desolator or even a millstrom, and they actually pick up the Roshan here, uh, VG Gaming, with the acid spray as well as a medallion. Look at Fenrir's inventory. These, these support players these days. <laughs> this is getting out of hand, really. Uh, this and the draw ranger set, but <laughs> out of hand of Midas. Yep. Pun intended. <laughs> I, 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 I'm so. <laughs> I'm so attuned with puns now, I make them without even realizing, but yeah, Lich. Pun master. Yeah. We, we, and we've Radiant's done it, it's Blinks. Blinks, Sylar, confirmed EE fanboy. Bottom towers he watched business. MLG. So, so yeah, someone was watching some MLG. Sylar, such a fanboy, he has an Aegis. And we're gonna see if he gets the GG rune, uh, the double damage. Yes, will the RNG I'm favor him as illusion for now? Tower. But this tower bottom will not be surviving for long. Alex gets hexed up, I mean silenced up. And there's gonna be the mech Radiant's as well as the song. Not so sure what this is for though. But they'll catch a perfect arrow here on Super. And Super, you will not be regenning out of this. Maybe, no, Lich. Chain Thrust goes on in. XY will catch that. Passes it back to the Priestess. And they'll take a lot of damage. Force the back off from the fight. Timbersaw still at full HP somehow. Timbersaw is dropping really low. And he will go down. 3, 2, 1 damage. Frostbite here on Sylar. The the, well, besides those are soul assumption, XY in trouble, arrow flies on ROTK, ROTK will Radiant not be going down, look at the frost armor just doing work, frost armor as well as, um, frost armor as well as the bristle back, just keeping bristle back alive, and now the tower will bring, will be brought down here, what a blink here from Sylar, he and his ninja footwork, Alex actually buys back, oh wait, did he buy back, no he didn't buy back, it was just, uh, it was just a, um, Bloodstone just keeping him alive here, and he gets one kill, two kills here. XY picks up one, so Frostfire takes Visage. FY will find himself back at the fountain, and ROTK going for BKB. Yeah, probably BKB. Uh, Heaven's Hilbert, maybe. Maybe Heaven's Hilbert could also potentially be SNY. The BKB is nice, I guess, against Arrow and all of the Timber Solace damage, but aside from that, there's still a net. There's still a Viper Strike, so we'll see what he ends up, how he ends up going for here. Yeah, but I know. Vici Gaming are, Vici Gaming. I, I think they, their recovery is complete. They're up 5k gold. They're up Radiant 4k experience. Tower, use a hand. I think I, I'm inclined to agree with you. I'm not so sure about the build that Chow Love has gone for here. The, Illusion. That Midas gold could have been maybe just a drum and finish his magic wand and start working towards... Even if he just went for a Yasha or something like that. They had, through the mid game, a Timbersaw and a Viper who were both very capable of just sitting on the front lines and soaking up spells and you know eating damage so the Marana could be your glass cannon on the back lines. But instead he goes for the Midas, now he's going for a Lincoln Sphere. Oh, so man. He, he's Annoying. still... He still got no damage whatsoever. He went full Pinoy, guys. You never go full Pinoy when you're behind. And well, Akinem Scepter picked up by Viper. That is, um, well, that is one silver lining in the cloud. If you, well, if you, if you say that, Viper Strike reduce cooldown, the extra die, range. It's now a sniper tower. strike. It's no longer Viper Strike. It's 900 range, I think. 700, 900. I think it's 900. Yeah, 900. Yeah, it looks Dyer's pretty big. It looks tower, like 900 to me. To uh, 900 range is nothing to sneeze at. You can get someone from really fast. Super comes in, shaking his concoction. Will he get to home? He will, but the well, this, the invis will uh, keep him alive. So Hawks get together. Will save their player here. Arrow, arrow, Sylar. Sylar gets hit. Perfect timing on the Viper Strike. Aegis is gone. And here we go. Super recharges there. Ace in trouble. The Naga. Naga, will he get the split in time? Will not get the split in time. He sends it to Crystal Maiden. The Frost 
both fly away. And now Timbersaw in big trouble. The mech comes out. Will he get out inside? Perfect oh, familiar chain stun. Silar, unstoppable streak up on him. Xiao Hong, he tries to fight. Crystal Maiden dropping Hill and fight. Well, Hill and Zev on everyone else here. Viper is just so tanky. Gets that last click on Visage. How to hate XY gets stunned. And now, with a whole lot of burst damage, they bring him down. 18 to 21. This is why you don't go full P9. Xiao Love did absolutely nothing in that fight. Apart from, well, just removing the Aegis with that initial burst. But that is about that. No damage at all. And, well, going back to farm his Lincoln Sphere. Yeah, and FY, he's been a bit of a punching bag this game, but I'd, I'd like to point out, got some got some nice fami well, familiar micro done in that last fight. Got two stuns, got the damage out, resummoned, two more stuns, cancelled the freezing field. Uh, so, while he does have eight deaths, I think he's, he's still contributed pretty well so far uh, to this game. But another winning team fight for Vichy Gaming, despite losing the Aegis. Uh, we're going to figure out when Roshan respawns in about three minutes time. Alex finds RTK. Can he do anything here? I think he RTK's can. got backup on the way. No. Well, RTK would have dived that, but so if it were RTK, yeah, yeah he would I dive think himself. I agree. He would dive himself there. Oh, hasted super. They could be finding Alex here. Alex in trouble. Plate mill will keep him alive. The damage is really low here, but there's a silence, and now Alex will be taking a fall. TP, TP, oh, no, no chance whatsoever, monster kill here for Sylar, easy gold, easy kills, 8, 2, and 2, this guy came from 0, 2, and 2, to 3, 2, and 2, and 8, 2, and 2, and, well, no, well, now it's 8, 2, and 4, but Blink Dagger, has worked out okay, I think, he hasn't done a lot of split pushing, he's been working with his team, and this is the thing that I don't really, don't really like about the Chinese players, is that they, they find builds that are effective, like the Midas strats and everything, or the Blink Clinks, and they adopt it because they see someone successful doing it. But do they actually play the Clinks the way uh, that is the Blinks the way it's supposed to be played? I mean, he doesn't do any split push. He might have actually been off a lot better uh, spending that money on a Crystalis instead of a Blink Tagger here, because he doesn't really do a lot of maneuver maneuvering, as well as blinking around and split pushing. So. I'm not so sure how good this Blink Dagger is, actually. Yeah, he hasn't really been off hunting for kills and trying to find people. I think it's worth it if he uses the Blink Dagger to blink on top of the Naga Siren as they initiate the fight. So you blink, you silence the Naga, you focus her down before the Song of the Siren can counter-initiate and set hearts get together up for a better team fight. But even if the song goes off, they don't really have anything particularly impressive to set up. Like, we have seen the song used to line up an arrow, and you know, also disengage and maybe save somebody. But yeah, I'm still 50-50 on the in the on the blink. If Silar does manage to track down the the Naga in a fight, then I think probably worth it overall. But otherwise, it seems like it's just slowed down his Daedalus, like you said. Yeah, but Alex had a great start and has been dying a lot since. He still has been killing a lot of stuff, but hearts get together, they cannot help but realize that the kills are getting pretty close and before that it's already been pretty out of control for them 10,000 um, in XP as well as the goal department so already exceeded a lot here hearts get together just this is just inexperience leaking oh uh, Silar yeah oh shall love leap so way in time, but here comes your blink. So he's gonna justify that uh, purchase. Self love. Just gonna hug the threes there and just die. Bury me here. And a godlike streak actually does award prizes. So a super alliance fan here will get uh, awarded for witnessing a godlike streak. He could be the mountains from beyond the summit as well. And keep feet by back feet has received the prize as well. So congratulations to those guys. Get a guy's name, Knuckle. Well. Nobody with the Alliance logo in their name, so that's that's a rare, yeah, that's rare occurrence. So it's probably a BTS fan, you know, the AAA, yeah. the mountains. And RTK taking Viper Strike damage, not too much to worry about. Dazzlers here on Clings, doesn't matter. He he fed 0-2 and he has all these items now. Sentry Ward, oh, we're gonna find that Viper Strike. Oh, there we go. Here comes the backstab from RTK, followed by the two birds. They're just gonna hunt down XY on that Crystal Maiden. The poor girl uh, could be in trouble here. Is there an arrow? Where is the Priestess? Once again, oh, the Priestess is dead. Okay. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. My mistake, but he's still. The reason he got caught out was because he was away from his team. The Dyer couldn't hang on. Oh, he he was so far away from his team. They were in a. He was in an area where there was zero ward, zero right. vision. No idea where the Clinks is, and yeah, Pichu Gaming, things are looking pretty good. FY is going to eat another arrow. This poor guy is just an arrow magnet today. Yeah, and 
But at least this time he doesn't die, he has a 4 star medallion gem. And if you look at the net worth here, sorry guys to bring it up earlier. And now Xiao Hong in big trouble, gets hit, 741 crit, Sila is gonna bring him down, Alex. You can do nothing but run, he drops the gold scepter, gonna eat even more soul assumption damage as a result. And Alex is just gonna have to chain up to the top, nothing he can do now. Super with the S and Y, BKB and Vitality Booster, I was just kidding when I said the, the Alchemist will not be farming this game. Level 16 with all these items, suddenly all these items just come out of nowhere. And VG Gaming looking to be on their way to taking game 1 of this. Best of 3, 21 to 21 now. Dyer's mid tower could use a little help. Look at him, Super's just diving. Yeah. I don't even know if Hearts can fight. Nice arrow on Starlight. What's he gonna do? He has a Lincoln Sphere. And he gets dispelled by one Nasal Goo. Snort disables your Lincoln Sphere. And now Shao Love will be shooting one arrow at RTK. He's gonna sneeze that. Uh, sneeze that off. And Shao Love. Well, I must say, dubious carry. That's all I can say. Taking the words from Eosin himself. But this is, this is not how you should be playing a one roll Mirana, I think. Xiao uh, Hong is actually going for BKB after his Aghanim Scepter. Second row Shan goes to VG Gaming. Klings will pick that up. Daedalus up on him. He can go for that MKB now. Or if he wants to go for something fancy, he could go for a Diffusal Blade as well to remove Gold Scepters, but probably not. At this point, I think he can get anything and win. Yeah, VG have the edges. They can. Pretty much just sit here, you know, bring down the tier 3 without investing anything, but... Super's got other plans, apparently. Oh, Xiao Hong in trouble. Here comes the blink from Sila. Silence, mech, no chance. Beyond got like here on Sila, and he's having a great time. The blink just to get into the battle here, not even... For Alex trying to do some damage here. RLTK still taking a lot of damage despite his farm, BKB, Plate Mill, and all that good jazz, and he still takes a lot of damage from Timbersaw, so... Which is why I actually showed concern regarding this Timber Swap pick earlier on. And now Super, looking for a target. Toss that bottle. Dyer's He's playing past the bottle here. Pops the BKB because... And now the Timber Chain flies through the Chakram, I mean. And... Well, the Quill's gonna be a little bit messy for RTK. RTK, is he gonna take an arrow? No, not gonna take an arrow. He pops the BKB and just laughs at everyone here. And... Wave right. gonna get brought down here by the quills. The Moonlight Shadow already spent. So, hey, Hot Tits get her already blowing all their ultimates. Save for the song and... If they pop the song, they retreat back to the fountain. They still lose their Rexes, so not so sure what they plan to do at this point. 22 to 21. Only one casualty in that fight, but still, this game is getting out of hand. And Vichy Gaming, just Dyer's not a scratch on them, really. They keep on fighting, they've brought down the Rex. They can't take the Mega Creeps just yet. There's still a tier 2 to grab on bottom lane, but yeah, hearts get together at this point are just really struggling to, to take a fight, even with high ground advantage. and. Uh, and everything else. And their lineup just... While they were able to sort of run straight at Vichy Gaming, things were alright. But while they do have initiation from the from the Song of the Siren, it's not, again, like we talked about, it's not really setting anything up. And this, I think, realizing that they just have to win a fight at this point, they're going to come in from oh, the side. Song. And Arrow hits on FY. This guy receives so much hate. Will he survive this? Nope. <laughs> he will die here. Mirana gonna eat a chain frost all around his team, but Xiao Love, his Lincoln Sphere is not paying any dividends whatsoever. One Mithril Hammer is not gonna work because you can't fire that from a bow. And now Fenrir, he's gonna take some right clicks. The Frost Armor just doing so much work. And look at the Visage Familiar, he's doing a lot of damage. BKB up for RTK, so messy this fight. XY, he tries to run from the big bad pick, but he's gonna huff and puff and blow her down. Oh, no, I know the wolf does that, guys, but oh, the Quill's 210 damage. No chance. Gonna get brought down. Here comes the silence on Alex. Alex in trouble. Out of mana that clings showing some mercy and their last right click here 375 the net gonna do nothing gg call should be coming any moment the yeah, do they have any buybacks left no so bitch again we just have to get these creeps back inside the base uh, they've even got creeps mid maybe yeah back to protection is disabled right now well but yep super is just gonna be hitting away at this hitting away the tower because he doesn't really care right now and he's gonna stun himself, but he doesn't care either. He has a lot of HP, the arrow's gonna fly, gonna stun him long, <laughs> gonna hit the Visage Familiars instead. A good counter against the Priestess here, so... Trouble brewing at Shall Dyer's top rags. Pick up the Mithril Hammer, not doing a lot of damage, he's sitting at... Nothing left. 140 is respectable, I guess, but still not enough right now. 150, 140. Uh, XY has not been dying a lot this game, I must commend his Crystal Maiden though. 1 and 4 only, 
on the uh, on the CM. Not dying as much as normal CMs do when they're behind. And Radiant the Naga as well. So I would say the supports on Hark Dead together did the right thing, but uh, they were let down by probably they Draft as well as Blaze Style in this game. Yeah, they were they were quite a ways ahead in the in the mid game, but just didn't quite seem to know what to do with the with the advantage. They dove a couple of towers, took a couple of fairly risky team fights. The, the problem just seemed to be realizing whether or not you know any given team fight was one that they could uh, was one that they could win. And I think you know we we saw a big example of that when Alex TP'd away from that fight on bottom lane. I thought that was a a fine fight. For for Hearts, which they ended up losing, and then you know turned around immediately at the tier one, uh, once they respawned. But yeah, Vichy Gaming just showing what benefits experience brings. They stacked, they got some ancients, they farmed, uh, and they just slowly but surely pulled themselves back into the game and then pulled ahead. So Hearts get together now, going for the desperation smokes. So they're down two lanes of racks. They just got to try something at this point. I think they get wiped if they jump on the wrong guy now. Super. That's the GG yeah. rune of death, the Isama's rune of death. Double damage here for the blinks will be your uh, fate ceiling. And now here we go, Sila picks it up, and now he's a bonus 600, and this is going to be over real fast. Look at it! Your heart carry is going to take a fall, but Song, the no fun song, Lady Gaga, or Lady Naga, is going to sing them all to sleep, but still, the right clicks here, Xiao Ho, he's going to get brought down, the Viper Strike going to slow down, the Crystal Maiden, just a lot of teamwork, but no chance. FY gonna get that kill. GG! They know it's over. Thousand damage crit here on the poor Crystal Maiden and she tries to pour it out. No chance at all for this poor girl and that's gonna be that. 29 to 22. VG Gaming take game one. Well, less than convincingly, but still, they gave us a little bit of excitement. They made us believe. But in the end, hearts get together. Well, they were here at the start. I guess they threw it away with item builds and a lack of aggression. They didn't assert enough dominance. And because of that, I think VG Gaming managed to crawl back, capitalize on their mistakes, and well, bring them down. Game 2 coming up. And I'm Lysander Zanora, and I'm joined here by Basekip. You can follow us both at our names, I think. Yeah, both our so mm -hmm. all social media are our names. The, the, our names are up here on the top right hand corner. So you guys can follow us if you want. Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff, and even my Twitch TV chat. Um, no, Twitch TV. But yeah. See you guys in the next game, game 2 coming right up, don't go anywhere, much love and kappa.